The first GTA 6 trailer just got released and oh boy, I can't wait to play it. I couldn't help but notice the beautiful title animation at the end of the trailer. And guess what? I'm gonna show you how to make your own version in just a few minutes. Let's open up Premiere. First, go to the toolbar and select Text Tool. Then go to the Program Monitor and click somewhere to create a graphics layer. Now you can start typing. Instead of VI, I'm gonna use PR from the word Premiere. When you're done, you need to customize it. Make sure the graphics layer with the text is selected. Then go to the Window menu on top and find the essential graphics panel. In this little box you can drag pictures, videos and effects and all of that will sit inside this one layer. So to customize the text make sure it's selected and find the font menu. Find a simple flat and bold font like Gotham Bold. Once it's selected go back to the program monitor and position the text in the middle of the frame. You can do that by holding down control on your keyboard. It will then snap to the middle. And next we're gonna add a stroke to the text. Go to essential graphics and scroll all the way down. First make sure the fill color is set to white. Then add a thin stroke. It works perfectly fine for me. We're gonna give it a gradient and to do that click the color picker and in this window go to the drop down on top. Find linear gradient. On the left side choose a pink color and on the right side choose yellow. This will create this nice Vice City themed stroke. Now we're gonna add a second one. To do that click the little plus icon on the top right. This one can be a little thicker. Again choose a linear gradient but this time set the left color to something dark purple. On the right side make it a little brighter then click on OK. Amazing, but now it's time to add some trees into the text. Simply drag the picture underneath the text layer. Now we want this picture to fill up the text. Select the top layer and scroll all the way down. Then make sure mask with text is checked. Now of course we don't want Premiere to remove our strokes we created. So to bring them back, select mask only fill. And there you go. Next we're gonna make the palm trees look more like the original GTA trailer. To do that we're gonna add a transparent gradient on top. Make sure the graphic layer is selected of course. And in the toolbar, grab the rectangle tool. Now draw a rectangle on top of the text. Go to the essential graphics and this right here is the shape we just created. Let us rename it to transparent gradient or something. If you drag it underneath the text layer you will see that it will automatically fill the text because of the mask feature. Now scroll down a little and click the fill color. For the left color choose blue and then on the right side choose a bright yellow color. Now we're gonna add some pink as well and to do that click the color bar to add another color point. Once you have it set it to bright pink. Now play around with the position of the color points until you have a gradient like this. Click on OK and now it's time to blend it in. First of all set the rotation to 90 degrees so that the blue is on top. That will match with the sky of the picture. Go to the opacity slider and decrease it until it blends beautifully. And that already looks beautiful. I don't know if you guys heard the music track underneath the GTA 6 trailer. It is amazing but unfortunately we can't use it because you know copyright. Luckily Audio created an amazing tool called Link Match AI. All you need to do is paste a link from YouTube or Spotify into the AI and audio will find you a similar song. I just copied the GTA video in here. That first song is perfect for animation. Let me download it real quick and put it aside. By the way, audio is also sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. The reason why I love audio so much is because the music on there is from real artists. It's not just regular stock music. That's what really sets them apart from the others. Now besides the pro and lifetime plans, they also have a brand new monthly plan. For just $14.99 you can download unlimited music and sound effects and use them copyright free on your YouTube channel and other socials. This is the most affordable plan yet and I don't want you guys to miss out on this. Now because of the super easy to use filters you'll find whatever song you need in just a few clicks. If you need some sound effects you'll find them in no time when using the featured categories. So if you want to level up your edits click the link down below. Now back to Premiere. Alright the palm trees are a little too sharp so to make it more blurry find the Gaussian blur effect in the effects browser and drag it on top of the palm trees. The effect will work on all the layers underneath it so now it only applies to the picture. Select it and go to the effect controls. Now increase the blurriness just a tiny bit and that looks better. Now it would be even cooler if the leaves were actually moving just like in the original Original. Nothing we can do in Premiere because in the effects library find the turbulent displays effect. Again drag it on top of the image. In the effect controls we're gonna animate the evolution. Set it to 0 degrees and then click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe. Grab the playhead and move further in time. Then increase the evolution to something like 360 degrees. As you can see the palm trees will now move around. Now turbulent displays is very heavy on your CPU so for now I suggest you just disable the effect until we're done. Just don't forget to turn it back on before exporting. Now to stay organized we're gonna put all these layers into a folder. Select them by holding shift and clicking the first and last one. Then click the folder icon 
on the bottom right. And there you go. It's always good habit to rename the folder to whatever it's inside. For example, background. That is beautiful. Next, we're gonna add some text on top of it. Again, grab the text tool and go to the program monitor. Type in whatever you want. For example, Premiere or Premiere. That works fine as well. Now head over to the Essential Graphics panel and select the text layer. We're gonna set it to a font that looks like the one from GTA. You can find tons of them online. Now in the program monitor, adjust the text scale and position to your liking. Now it's time to add some strokes to the text as well. And to do that, select the text layer. Then scroll all the way down and add one black stroke to make the text pop more. Then add a second stroke and give it a darker gradient, identical to the one from the background. Now if you want to add a second word, follow the exact same steps. Guys, it's starting to look really cool. Now we're gonna make the text pop up on top of the background. First we're gonna need some glow. In the effect library, find the VR glow effect. Drag it on top of the text layers. Now we only want the glow effect to work on the text layer, not on the background. So to fix that, select the text layers and the glow effect and then click the folder icon. Again, rename the folder to text or something. Select the VR glow effect and then go to the effect controls. Find the effect and set the luma threshold to zero. Then make sure use tint color is selected and choose a pink tint color. Then increase the glow radius until the background is lit up. Next, set a glow brightness keyframe and go to the play it. Then move further in time and set it to zero. That way you get this flashing slash fading out effect. Next, we're gonna make the text fade in. To do that, we're gonna use the crop effect. Drag it in the essential graphics panel on top of all the other layers inside the text folder. Select the crop effect and head over to the effect controls. Grab the bottom property and in the program monitor, drag it all the way up so that the text isn't visible anymore. Then set a bottom keyframe and move a little bit further in time. Now drag the bottom property all the way down. Oh, and also expand the keyframe velocity curve. Pull the lever of the right keyframe just a little bit to make it end slowly. Once that's done, increase the edge feather to make the text layer fade. And that looks amazing. And now we're gonna create the beginning of the animation. The reason we do it now is because it's much easier because we already did a lot of steps. Now in the timeline, hold down Alt and drag the graphic layer one track up to duplicate it. Now trim the bottom one a little bit and make the top layer overlap. You'll understand why in a second. Now select the first graphic layer and go to the essential graphics. We're gonna remove everything except the PR text layer. Then scroll all the way down and disable the strokes. Now go to the fill color and set it to black. Now you shouldn't see anything. Oh, and also disable the mask with text options. We don't need them anymore. Next, find the VR glow effect and drag it on top of the text layer. Make sure it's selected and head over to the effect controls. Make sure the use tint color is selected and open up the color picker. Set it to pink. Set the threshold to zero and then grab the play ad. Move it a little further in time. Set a glow radius and a brightness keyframe and then set them both to zero. Now move the play ad back in time. Now increase the radius and the brightness. This will make it really glowy. Now we're gonna let the text fade in as well. To do that, copy and paste the PR text layer and drag it on top of everything. Now we only have a glow outline, which is exactly what we need. Next, find the crop effect again and drag it on top of the layers. And now, just like with the text layer, animate it so that the text comes in like this. Amazing, now one more thing before we finish it off. In the timeline, click the left edge of the top clip and hit Ctrl plus D on your keyboard. This will add the default cross dissolve transition and you can even tweak the length to your liking. That will make the palm trees appear slowly inside the letters. Now, let me add the song we found in audio underneath the clip and there you go. That is an amazing Premiere Basic style animation. But I actually tried editing on a 30 year old Premiere version. So if you want to learn everything about that, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.